Hey guys, this is a, another little video tutorial about podcasting in Logic Pro. I had somebody ask me about side chaining. What is side chaining? How does it work? And how does it get used in podcasting? So I thought I'd go over that really quick. Um, so basically, side chaining is when you, you put a compressor on a track, but the compressor only works when it gets triggered by another track. And I'll explain what that means uh, as I show you this layout of one of the episodes I'm editing. So this top track up here is my music. I have a compressor. Uh, this is not the native logic compressor, but it's the functionality is the same. So here's my compressor, <clears throat> and it's only acting when it gets triggered by one of the vocal tracks, which is down here. So I'll show you what that looks like as I play this right now. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about FreshBooks, a cloud-based accounting service made by small business owners for small business owners. So you can see if you look over here that the uh, it's giving me the audio input signal from this vocal track. If I were to mute the vocals, you would not see any activity here. So the compressor is doing nothing unless one of the voices is talking. Um, this makes it very easy for your vocals to cut through over the music. Um, when I automate the levels between the voices and the music, I don't want the music to be too quiet, but uh, side chaining is a good way for the music to stay at a steady volume and for the vocals to still be able to cut through and you can hear all the words, nothing gets lost, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so I'll walk through how to set this up. Um, here is my vocal track. Basically, what you're going to do is create a bus track, and I'll explain the concept behind bus tracks on a different video. Um, but if you've never done that before, you can still follow this. It's, it's fairly simple. So create a bus track here. Uh, so we'll just use, uh, let's go bus 5. Okay? Uh, and make sure sometimes when you hit this, this input level here will be at 0. So make sure this is all the way at zero and a quick shortcut to get it to zero is hold option and click and it will immediately jump to the default of zero. Now, <clears throat> go to your mixer window which you can do by hitting X or by hitting I believe two, no not two, X on your keyboard. What's gonna happen is it will automatically create an aux input based around that new bus five that we've created. Now this is mainly for music production. There's ton of different things you can do with side chaining and buses. We don't need this for podcasts, so what I want you to do is just delete the extra aux channel. Hit delete anyway. The bus is still working, so don't worry about that. Now, let's go up to our music track. Uh, pop open any compressor. Uh, you can use them one that comes with Logic, or if you have a third-party one, that's fine. Now, before you do anything, let me actually reset this so you can see how it works from scratch. And I have a bunch of Waves plugins is what I use. And there we go. Oh yeah, I have a default uh, a template already set up. Um, anyway, so um, you can see all the compressors are going to have an option for sidechain up here at the top. Might not be at the top, but they all have it. So select your click sidechain and select all the way down the bus that we created, bus five. Now it means it's taking input from this vocal track, which is being sent through bus five. And then you just tweak your compressor settings as you normally would. So let me uh, set this back to zero and I'll show you kind of what that means. All right, so I'll play with the music. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about FreshBooks, a cloud-based accounting service made by small business owners. You can hear the regular settings. The, the music is definitely drowning out the vocals, which is not what we want. So first thing is I'm going to set my ratio. I kind of have a guide that I always go by that seems to work for me. So I set my ratio to 4 to 1. Uh, I leave my attack standard. I set my release to 1,000. And there's another video about compressors that will go into more detail about what that means. Um, the main thing that you want to look for is the threshold here. So what we're going to do is play back, adjust the threshold while it's playing so you can listen. It's important to always listen as you tweak these settings. 
and then we'll find a, a consistent threshold for it where, it where it sounds good. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about FreshBooks, a cloud-based accounting service made by small business owners for small business owners. Right now, they're offering a month of unrestricted trial access to all listeners of the starting... And I like it right about there. And again, it's kind of personal preference. Um, always listen through as you adjust the settings. And you know, once you've done it, a thousand times, you can you have a pretty general idea of what your default setting should be. So this is side chaining. This is how I keep the music and the vocals working together. I still do some automation here. You can see once the vocals come in, the music does come down a little bit. But in, if I didn't have the side chain on, I would have to bring the music down a lot more, and that's not what I want because then the music is not present enough. So side chaining is the perfect balance between uh, these two things. So. Hope that makes sense. Always, uh, you can comment, reach out with any questions, extra clarification on side chaining, and I'll be happy to uh, answer your questions.